And old boys of Methodist High School Lagos have vowed to resist any move by the Methodist Church of Nigeria to further encroach and convert the school land into commercial or residential uses other than educational. Addressing newsmen in Lagos, the old boys led by the president, engineer Bolaji Akinsoya, disclosed that the registered trustees of the Methodist Church have begun sale of Victoria Island land belonging to the school, just the same way they did to the ones in Broad Street, Lagos Island. Engineer Akinsoya, while narrating how the church obtained a second certificate of occupancy, CFO, threatened to bring down the structures currently being built on land. When to advertise, even online, if you Google it, what I what I it says sales at the Wesley.com.ng. That was the ad, uh, that was the advert that was placed on the this thing. So if you go before a governor and you say you want to set up a residential uh, a building, maybe for the staff, you know, clandestinely, and then you are now advertising that you want to use it for commercial purpose. Governor Jide Sorolu, please, we beg you, revoke this use to educational purpose. Emancipate poverty in Lagos State. Please, we beg of you. Today, we have Dr. Oliver Alip Abba as the prelate. And I want to let him know, if truly is serving a living God, and he knows that he will stand before God for judgment, and he also remember that we will all be remembered for what we have done here on earth. He should put an end to all these things that men of God should never be involved with. For reasons that don't concern us, um, the Methodist Church finds itself in financial crisis. And it has always tried to then look at assets that were on ground before many of them took up positions in the church hierarchy uh, to sell them. The church needs to, to step up its act because what we have seen here is a situation where the assets of the school are being stripped without any commensurate development. In fact, one of our old boys was saying that it was sudden when the school came, a school that is 146 years old, came to do an advert in his radio station. I mean, it's, I mean, a good product sells itself. The immediate past president of NBHS Old Boys Association, Kolakpo Shokbetun, and other members condemned the transfer of two acres of land belonging to the school into private use by the registered trustees. They call on the Lagos State Governor Babajidi Sonwolu to please come to their aid and revoke parallel C of O of the charge. They recalled how thugs attacked unarmed old boys led by 81-year-old Chief Tunde Fanimokun and 85-year-old Reverend Peter Omoli when they visited the site last on January 29, 2024. This is what they are planning to put. They want to sell on school land some click, some click in Methodist Church, Nigeria. Not all of them. Some click that wants to stain the good name of the church. And we are going to resist it with the legal instruments of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Oh, right now, they have gone to change the use, you know, to uh, re residential as against commercial, as against um, educational. Meanwhile, Methodist Boys High School still has a subsistence of you know, for educational purpose. So where does that, where, where, I mean, where, where does that correlate? Those are parallel uh, certificates of occupancies that that they can never meet because. In law, the first in time prevails, is second to none. And that it is on that basis that we can conclude that the, the certificate of occupancy in the name of Methodist Boys High School is the authentic. They maintain that the course they are fighting is for the students and generations yet unborn. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.